Uh, you mentioned your thoughts on the Joker. Right. Here we go. The next one is the DC Extended Universe. DCEU. So that includes everything from Man Man of Steel onwards. I believe it even includes the uh, the new Joker film with... What's his face? Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, him. <laughs> that, <laughs> I believe that is also included in this. Really? Also, Suicide Squad, both of those films. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, actually. Maybe we should uh, Google that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I, it all falls under the extended universe umbrella because this new Flashpoint movie is going to uh, open the DC up to multiple timelines, the same yeah. as the M- MCU is. So I think it does all fall under the same un- umbrella. Um, they're just getting a bit creative now with like just doing whatever they want with the characters and just explaining it away through this Flashpoint movie that's going to happen where Flash accidentally opens up ways to different worlds or something. I don't know. Um, Doctor Strange though. <laughs> Yeah, because he runs too fast. So yeah, what do you reckon to the DC EU, Joseph? Um, uh, the sorry, yeah, the DC EU. Sorry, I lost my parents for a little bit there. Um, you lost your parents. My parents. What? Yo, we're oh, talking about saying. losing parents. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, uh, the DC EU. Um, does it include? What would you rate it first of all? Does it include Zack Snyder's extended? cut or does it not I, I it does see, include the extended cut if it includes the extended cut that is like a different story because that film the Justice I'd League I'd say it includes both so it include, it, it's not it's like the, the Justice League film they've still got out but yeah. you could say the extended cut is also part of it maybe they would say it's like a different timeline or something <laughs> who knows <laughs> Like, but they're definitely both in it so far as I know what, what I'd argue is that DC shot themselves in the foot Basically, and that's unfortunate because 100%. they built they built this thing up. Man of Steel's a decent movie. It's a good movie, right? Just on its own. It doesn't really I don't think it really builds up to anything, but it's just a good, you know, starting point. And then you had um well, Suicide Squad was the first Suicide Squad was I. I'm not gonna say it was groundbreaking, I. it was it was I. It was like a five. Um and then the second Suicide Squad was amazing, but that's besides the point. It seemed like they were trying to do what Marvel did, but too quick. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, they went, we need to build up, like, this big cinematic universe. And Marvel took, like, what, 15 years Decade. or something? Yeah. It took a long time to build up. But then DC were like, we need to get to that point. And instead of letting Zack Snyder tell the story, they went, no, 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 no. We need to have it down to, like, an hour and whatever, because people aren't going to stay there for three hours do you know what i mean like what what and yeah i think i think it wasn't even, it wasn't even just that like he didn't even get to finish that movie like he started it and then, and then he had him. some uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly what it was but for some reason anyway he had to leave uh whether it was like due to family reasons or if they sacked him or whatnot i'm not exactly sure on that but um the information is out there you can look it up we just have we just don't do research <laughs> but um yeah Anyway, he left the project, and instead of just waiting for him to like come back or finish it or whatever, they got what's Joss, called? Joss Whedon, Joss Whedon yeah. who worked on Avengers, thinking, okay, Avengers work, let's just do that with Zack Snyder's script, which was clearly meant to be following the tone of Man of Steel and yeah. Batman vs Superman. And what is annoying, what is quite annoying, is clearly from the extended version of that movie that we eventually got, um, Zack Snyder probably could have told a good enough story in just three movies. To, to rival the Marvel films, yeah. I would say, like uh, yeah. like to build up to the first in, first Justin League Justice League in three movies, whereas Marvel took what like five movies to get to the first Avengers, yeah, or six movies maybe, yeah. Um, I think it's quite impressive, really. And had they just let him do that, it would have it probably would have been really good. And and then the sequel, the one with Dark Side, which we might not even get now. Who knows? I hope we do because I think that'd be good. Um. That, that probably would have been up there in numbers at least with yeah Avengers movies for sure um yeah like goodness me the the other the second shot they took to the other foot was the fact that after Zack Snyder's version released and everyone went this is amazing why didn't you do that they went yeah well it's not happening again we just released that because we just decided to but we're not going any further with that and it was like well Hang on a minute. And they were like, yeah, it was brilliant. You guys are saying it was amazing, but uh, 
whatever, we don't care. And it was like, oh, okay, <laughs> sick. Do you know what I mean? Like, we actually got, like you said, like a near Avengers scale sort of film that was done really well. And the story arc they were building with Darkseid and uh, Superman going, you know, a bit mental and Flash warning. Because yeah. the thing is, now that the other movies aren't coming out, the whole thing with Flash warning uh, Bruce in the Justice League saying Lois is the key, right? It doesn't make sense now because mm. they're like, oh, well, we're not yeah, going yeah. further with that. And it's like, well, if you watch that movie on its own, why that doesn't make sense? Um, yeah. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like he was he was forced to include a lot of stuff that probably would have been better left to later films. But yeah. because they were kind of playing catch up to Marvel because they could see like the hype was there now so it's like we've got to get our own thing going right now and um and i think Zack snyder although i know a lot of people disagree with some of the decisions he made he did have like an artistic vision of what he wanted to happen and so he was using this kind of time travel thing to explain away some of the stuff that he needed to just to tell the story and set up stuff to pay off later but because he wasn't fully allowed like the full control of it and there was too much other people meddling in what he wanted to do it was kind of the whole thing kind of seemed like a bit of a shambles and yeah it was a bit unfair and then yeah you take into account all the other dc movies i've not seen half of the suicide squads and harley quinns and all (laughs) (laughs) but based on what i have seen which is man of steel um the second one batman versus superman which i thought was acceptably good um, I thought it was pretty and, decent. I thought it got a lot yeah, of unnecessary I right. hate. I, right. I think a lot of people were yeah. like ri- ribbing on it. Ribbing on it? Um, they were having a go because of the <laughs> whole uh, Martha thing, right? Because like he was like, yeah, Martha. I didn't think that was so bad. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was that bad. Do you know what I mean? Like compared to, yeah. um, you know, nobody had a go at Chris Pratt having a dance off when, you know, the world's at stake. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, my friend yeah. just died. That's much worse in my opinion. I, I think that's <laughs> I think that's ten times but yeah. no one had to go. And then when they did the Martha thing, people were like, Oh, that's so bad and it was like, it's not that bad. Yeah. I don't know. When you look at it as like, okay, it's- you know batman sees superman as like an alien being who's got no conscious or anything like that and then to, and then he's obviously got this deep rooted backstory of like his parents dying and that so what can superman say or do that really relates to bruce wayne's like character and so when when he's about to kill superman and the last thing he does is like scream for his mum it's like that's like oh damn yeah you know he gets like, like this moment of realization oh he's got a mum you know maybe it's a bit silly that they've both got the same name but like the, the point of the, the feeling it's trying to convey, I think, works pretty well, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then if I, I, I've got to just totally ignore like the Justice League movie that they initially put out. Yeah. <laughs> and to, saying it's the, um, the extended version, I thought that was a brilliant film. I'd, I'd, I'd give those three movies on their own probably like an eight, but because of all the other movies, some of which I've not seen, but, but I have heard not necessarily the greatest things on but um then there's some which are pretty good like the joker movie um on average i would have to give it like five five wow yeah goodness yeah. just me. because there's so much like baggage yeah but if it was those three original movies i'd say like eight or nine okay because that's that's crazy because like the joker if we're including joker in it right was i think we have to yeah it was an astounding like well not astounding see i've not seen that either so maybe that would put it up for me it was a brilliant movie it was a brilliantly different it was a very different way of telling a story you know compared to like you know oh yeah we're superheroes and we're fighting and we're punching it was a very like deep movie do you know what i mean I, I hope that yeah. doesn't sound too cringy to say, but, um, you know... No, I um, think most people agree, agree with that from and, what I've heard. And then there was... Um, the new Suicide Squad was pretty good. Like, you know, if you're comparing it to, like... It was a sort of Guardians of the Galaxy type thing. Of There was a lot of, like, yeah. jokes thrown here and there. But it seemed a lot... I know this is going to sound weird. It seemed a lot ruder than Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, and... I know that sounds a bit like, well, why would you give it credit for that? But it's like the jokes are a bit more funnier because they're not like PG-13 little quips, you know, like, oh, yeah, and he's it's got his... It's why Deadpool works, isn't it? You are, sorry. It's why Deadpool works, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It had more Pushes of that Pushes the boundaries feel. a bit. Um, whereas the original Suicide Squad was meh. 
Um, the Emancipation of Harley Quinn was all right, I guess. Um, you know, it had a really good villain in it, played by Ewan McGregor. So I think taking everything into account, I'd have to give it like a seven, a seven and eight. I'm going to go with an 8 just because you gave it such a low rating that I want the average rating to come up a bit. What's that? 6.5, yeah? What, between an 8 and a 5? Five? 5, 6, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Am I being stupid? It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right. You're making me doubt myself now. <laughs> 8 and uh, 5. 6.5. 7. So, yeah, I am writing these down yeah. so that at the end we can come back and determine which is the best uh, movie franchise. Wait, wait. What did, what did Harry Potter get? According to us. Uh, Harry Potter got a six. This got a six point five. Okay, okay. It's it's <laughs> my whole goal of this podcast is to make sure that everything gets above Harry Potter. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, just one thing I want to say on DC as well. Like, maybe the reason I've not watched some of the later films is just because I don't <clears throat> care as much where the story's going. Whereas yeah. with some of these franchises we've discussed, like they've done a good job of building up the story over the movies, whereas DC has felt so all over the place as a whole collected thing. That's probably why I rank it so much lower than yeah, some of the others. But you know? I, I e- think... I'll let, I- individual on. movies might be good, though. Sorry, like, I was just going to say, like, individual movies like The Joker might be a great movie, but yeah. when it's so tonally different to like Suicide Squad and then Man of Steel, and it's just all over the place and there's no obvious narrative, I don't find myself caring as much to watch them. I think it's one of those things where you got to think about... How do I put this? Um, You know what Marvel did was amazing, but I think people have now sort of taken that as, oh, that's got to be the norm, and forgotten that you can just make five different movies that don't necessarily have anything to do with any of them, but they're all amazing movies in their own right. Like, if you watch that movie just as that movie, you go, oh, that's a good movie. Because I think that, if we're being fair, DC had more hits than misses i reckon it's just that justice league was awful because it was all over the place i think uh the newer wonder woman was pretty bad because they insinuated yeah, I seen that either. They, there was <laughs> there was a sort of um let's just say very inappropriate thing that happened that a lot of people went yeah that's not right that's not on and it was like Bro, there was a can lot you of. Tell con- me what that is. I can, me, I, I don't know. Like, how PG are we on this podcast? We're not. We're not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so basically, Wonder, as far as I'm aware in the plot, Wonder Woman has this lover who was back in like World War Two, played by Chris P- Pine, right? And oh, yeah, yeah. he dies or whatever. And then in this new movie, she ends up figuring out a way to get like his conscious into some random dude's body. And then oh, yeah. she she that. sleeps with that dude, and then people were like, "Yo, that's a bit what? Like, what about that dude? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I they now this is coming from me who's never watched a movie. I've just heard people talk about, oh, that's a bit weird, and then I've gone, ew, that happens. But you know it's what? A bit morally weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and the only reason I gave it an eight was because you gave it a five. But I think if I was being honest, it'd be a seven. To be honest with you. All right, so it's getting a six then. Ah, uh, no! Same as Harry Potter. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, nah. I, no, you... if I'm being completely honest, yeah, I've given it a seven. I okay, can't... Honesty is the only only policy around here. I can't justify giving it an eight because there are some big misses. And if I'm giving the Marvel Fair Universe enough. an 8.5, I don't think the DC is that yeah. close to Marvel. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, yeah. seven, yeah. Yeah. What is your favourite DC movie and your least favourite DC movie, favorite of is, the of the universe. Favorite not, is easily so not Nolan. Yeah, yeah. It's it's easily um, the Justice League extended cut. I thought that was brilliant. I thought that was amazing. I thought it was so good, and I was Same. so hyped to be like, oh, where's it gonna go from here? Because of all the build up they had at the end towards Dark Side, and like, you know, what's gonna happen in the future? I, I thought it was amazing. And the worst, the worst one that I've seen. Because I didn't watch any of the I didn't watch the Wonder Woman movie I spoke about. Um, it might have been the first Suicide Squad, maybe because it was a bit all over the place and it was it was okay, but it wasn't like you know it was it was I you know what I mean like wasn't there 
wasn't quite there. Or maybe Sounds I just... Sounds like they perfected it the second time. Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, but I was going to say, maybe I just, you know, say Aquaman because Amber Heard was in it. I just go, you know what, Aquaman, Ooh. get Amber Heard out of I there. Quite li- I quite liked Aquaman, you know. Yeah, I'm but totally just just because of Amber Heard. Ranking up a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, what I was sh- that's why I was shocked when you gave it a five. I was like, there were a lot of hits. Yeah, I did the... like Aquaman, you know. <sighs> give it a six, at least. Come on. Yeah, but if I give it... If I give it a six, then it goes up to a seven, and that's higher than Harry Potter. No, it goes, to a, it goes up Furious, to a six point five because I lowered mine to a seven. Oh, that's good. Then we we did have six point five for a minute anyway. <laughs> six point five again. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite DC movie is the Justice League extended cut. I do think it's a bit long and self indulgent, but mm. that's what happens when you give like an artist like as much time as he wants. He's yep. gonna make it as long as possible. Um, but I thought most of what was added was good. And the worst one, I think, is the original Justice League before it, before it was extended. Uh, I mean, the, um, yeah. Joss, uh, Joss Whedon version. I never just watched so it. Totally though. all over the place and bad. Oh, really? Yeah, so I, I couldn't. Shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, I, I went straight to the extended cut because I heard of how yeah. bad it was. So I went, I'm leaving that. No. I mean, it might be funny now, having seen the extended cut, seeing how bad the original was. Like, that might be quite funny. Because obviously I can't do that because I saw the original one first and I'm watching it again. <laughs> this is a clip from the Fireside podcast. Check out the full podcast link below.